Y hay una historia del arte oficial, lineal, eh, que está muy cuestionada, que es la idea eh, que Estados Unidos, digamos, superó a Europa eh, después de la Segunda Guerra Mundial eh, y una idea que nos eh, muestra una visión lineal de la historia del arte, donde primero fue el cubismo, luego el surrealismo y el expresionismo abstracto americano, digamos, superó esta, esta, esta evolución. Sin embargo, eh, la historia es eh, mucho más eh, compleja. La historia nos muestra que los movimientos, los artistas, no trabajan de un modo lineal. Eso es una proyección al pasado desde el presente, sino que hay fuerzas antagónicas que están continuamente cuestionándose unas a otras. Y eso era una de las cosas que intentamos eh, ver en esta exposición. Otro elemento importante en la exposición es el hecho de que prácticamente casi todos los artistas en la muestra son extranjeros. Son los extranjeros que buscan refugio en París eh, como una ciudad de la libertad, como una ciudad donde todo es posible, donde esta libertad genera comunidades afectivas, donde digamos se genera a partir de esta de, esta, de, este, de este tipo de nuevas eh, relaciones, una nueva centralidad, una nueva capitalidad eh, mundial de, de la cultura. My idea was to say, okay, we're going we're gonna to show chronologically what happened during several rooms, what happened in Paris, what kind of debates uh, developed in Paris according to history, historical facts, what, what happened, wars, uh, you know, tensions, and so on and so forth. And you can see that artists are trying to adapt in different ways. They try to explain to the public or to uh, even for themselves sometimes uh, how to deal with the after war, which is very complicated. But what is interesting is that artists under that pressure, they produce very interesting tons of works. So what we wanted to show is this, those movements developing through the 50s and 60s and ending up in the late 60s, or well, even middle 60s and late 60s, when you realize that we have a new society now. We start from the beginning with a poor, very, very poor uh, society after the war, to a, a consumer society where everybody, well, everybody, a middle class is, is coming up. They become, they have money, they buy cars, they, the advertising is everywhere. But a lot of people realize that this is not exactly what we were supposed to have. The dream we had, the utopian world that we had was not that, was not like a few people are going to be rich and buy everything and all the others are going to be, you know, lost and poor and so on. So there is a critique by 63, 64. There is a lot of uh, critique in, in France uh, about that type of culture very different from what was going on in America, in New York, with Pop Art. Pop Art is pretty positive, even if sometimes you have Andy Warhol making some statements on. But here, it's really politicized in a sense, right? Here they say, no, we're going to force you to look around, to move, to make sure that you realize that you are a human being, that you, are, you, you can make choices, right? I guess, started four years ago with the idea that I'm going to show the people who are coming to help, Parisian culture or modern culture, and now we are entangled into, well, what? Immigration? We don't want to kick them out. Well, if we kick them out, all of out, there's nothing in Paris left for us to look at. This room would be totally empty.